previously. Ah. Gah. Thanks, sissy. Currently. How's it going, YouTube, and welcome back to Gothic Plays the Crooked Man. When we left off, I did things. And I'm going to be completely honest, I have actually re have about an hour's worth of footage that I had to throw away because I couldn't figure out what to do. So I'll admit to cheating on this episode, I looked up what to do. And I feel like a complete and total idiot because of it. So let's go do it. Shall we? I think we shall. Okay. <laughs> when you make when you're making something that's like storyline pr pushing crucial, you shouldn't make it so discreet. It should be painfully obvious what to do next. <laughs> There's a notice about a seminar. How about that? <laughs> uh, September 21st in the atrium. Crime among the impoverished and its prevention. Ivan L. Abelitzvez. I totally killed that name. Criminal behavior. A psychological approach will be referenced to. So be sure to read it before coming. Professor of Criminology, Franz Moore. Okay, I've read Franz Moore's journal a couple times up to this point. Saying that he had left a his password in a book. It took me an hour to figure this out. That's why I know exactly where I'm going. I am shamefaced. Okay. So what is what is my lucky number? 9981. Okay. I'm a I'm a I'm a derp. I'm a derp. I derped so hard on that one. 9981. Okay. 9 Nine, eight, one. Hey, I got a thing! It contains a key to the computer room. Cool, I'ma go there and look at things. Hopefully this will progress the story. Where is the computer room? Hey, I found the computer room. There's a thing in the trash can. The trash can is overflowing. Lots of complicated papers. I don't understand any of them. Okay. My eyes are immediately drawn to two numbers on the screen. And I have nothing to write them down with. <sighs> I imagine I would need the six-digit pen because I know there's a room that's locked with a six-digit pen. Okay. One, four, five. Four, two, four, six, and just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna write down 1709 in case I need it. I know that's a nine. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, I can get into that six digit room now. Excuse the fuck out of me. There's no power in this school. That screen should not be on. Friends, faculty, and staff, thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. The future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learned here will make us resolute. A round of applause for my fellow graduates. But what? The laptop but there's no power thank you I pointed that out like forever like five years ago where have you been <laughs> but even as valedictorian there's something I can't help but lament and that's David Hoover I'm David Hoover he was highly skilled kind to us all and admired by pupils and teachers alike we all expect he would proudly he'd be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed. 
by none other than the man himself. Hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. What's going on here? Let me ask you all this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? Don't boo me! I do good! I didn't think so. He should forever be punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. I'm completely and utterly confused. Stop it. Okay, this guy had a poltergeist living in his house. Actually mentioned he had a poltergeist living in his house. And he had a steely resolve. Didn't really seem to care that he was being haunted. But now this is getting to him. This is getting to the badass. You're the lowest of low, your dreams will never come true, what are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward. What? <laughs> uh, that's a thing. Can, can I, can I go please? I can't move. I can't move, hello? Stop laughing at me! Stop it! I'm... He just smashed the la laptop does not... Smashing a laptop does not sound like glass shattering. Ask anyone. I'm not a coward. I... I just... Hey, it's D. I heard you... I heard a scream. Was that you? Jeez, you made me freak. What's the big deal, huh? Did something happen? Forget about it. Sorry for the surprise, it's nothing. Hey, dude. You okay? You're super pale. I'm just kind of tired. I came a long way, and I haven't slept. Leave me alone. I can't be bothered to talk. Have this. Hey, that's the energy drink I talked about in the last episode. <laughs> that, that's funny. That's funny. Have this. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. <laughs> did I call that or did I call that? I knew I'd need, oh, I would need something to uh, restore the rest of my health. And I kept walking around to the vending machine saying, hey, give me an energy drink. There it is. Game gave me an energy drink. What? Seriously? I don't need this. I told you, leave me be. Drink it. Jeez. You really look like you need food and drink. And I'm being nice, so accept my kindness. All right. Thanks. But what's all this from the guy who's calling me a shady punk? Because you are a shady punk. He's a shady, a ba he's a shady punk who's a badass. Fights crooked men. Mostly because you look like crap, dude. Come on, it's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer. Besides, maybe it's fate. Tell me what. Tell you what. I won't call you shady no anymore. Now cheer up. You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. Huh. That's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at any rate. <laughs> Say, have you seen anyone else around, particularly a man around my age? A man? No, nope, nobody. He's who you're looking for? Yeah, I thought I don't really... I, the reading, I'm good at it, I promise. Yeah, though I don't really know what he looks like. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Doubt anyone would be around here, though. Oh, but can I ask you something? Professor Andrew, he always helped me out. His room, his room's on the third floor, but it's got a code, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor might still have some lecture notes for, uh, for me around or something. But yeah, tell me if you get it open, okay? Alright, got it. I'll wander around some more then. You look like hell, so don't push yourself. <laughs> yeah, well, you be careful too. If you see any monsters, get away. 
Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to defend myself anyhow. Smell ya. Yep, so, yeah, smelly is a thing. Huh. Maybe he's not as bad as I thought. Got energy drink. Can I drink it? Please. I would love to drink it. Why am I still only at 80%? <laughs> okay, so I guess there's more stuff for me to find then. Okay, let's, let's go find it. I haven't saved in a while. I should probably do that. Okay. Frame rate slowing me down. Okay. This is the one with the six digit pen. Yep. Okay. One, four, four, two, four, six. Why give me a code before a cutscene that takes forever to get through? Anybody with a normal memory span would actually be as enraged about it as I am because, no, really, I can't remember that far. Oh, here's where things get uh, dicey, I think. Looks like some sort of diary. Finally done with the finals. I'm glad everyone got their appropriate grades. Of course, there's that lone D. I teach him so much, but he doesn't even get the basics. He's lagging behind everyone else, and yet he's so intent on becoming a lawyer. That nickname D stands for Dreamer. Apparently, it is given to him by apparently like reading. Apparently, it was given to him for having such an impossible dream. But if you ask me, it's for the grade he'll always get. Oh, that's low. I hate how he fawns over me too. I practically have to act nice to him and he always comes for lessons after school. I wish I'd never let him in my class. I just hope he gives up on this dream soon and finds another path. That's harsh. This is about D. It's awful that he'd say this about a student. Though maybe D really is that bad. If D saw this, it'd be a big shock for him. He said he respected his professor and always tried so hard. There, I tore the page out. Won't want D coming in and finding this. Uh-huh. Okay. God! Ah. Uh. There's a frame right as I'm in transitioning in which David will turn and look at me. I don't know if it'll actually be caught in the recordings, but if I can find the video proof, it'll be here. So it's kind of weirding me out. That monster's still wandering around. Is he looking for me since he couldn't kill me? I'm going to have to persuade D to leave. This is way, it's way too dangerous here. I'll go look for him. Okay. Uh, let's go the direction that the monster went. Why not? Hey, look. Monster's gone. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, bum, 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 da, 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 da. The door is unlocked. I just went off of instinct there. I have a really bad feeling. The air is kind of heavy. Just what is this? Go in. D! Hey D, what's wrong? Get up! Ack! My head! Feel like crap. N now that you mention it, it's a little hard to breathe. What's going on here? It's gas. Huh? The floor's leaking gas. You gotta get out! Got it! D, get up and lean on my shoulder! Ah! It's laughing at me. It's here! We gotta go! C crap, the gas is pouring in. I'll be poisoned if I'm not quick. Got an iron pipe. Is 
There's a crack in the wall. Um, iron pipe. You can widen the crack with the pipe. That almost seems impossible. No time for hesitation. I gotta get out or I'll die. No good, huh? Maybe if I hit it more. Uh, hammer! I might be able to widen the crack with the hammer. Let's try it. There's a timer going in the upper in the upper corner. I don't like having a timer. Where the hell am I? Okay, I get it. But the door won't open. I have a crowbar. I can probably open the crowbar. I have to at least try. I'm in the elevator. I can go up through the door and the ceiling. Yeah, did, did I do it? Why am I not moving? Okay, I'm climbing the ladder. Good. Did I do it? I did it! Yay! I was I was legitimately worried. <laughs> God, pant, pant, but managed to escape. I was nervous. I was I was I did not remember what to do there. I was nervous as shit. Hey, D, are you okay? I'll get you to the infirmary. Hang in there. I was nervous. D, are you sure you're okay? If you don't want to go to the hospital, what if you got poisoned? <laughs> I'm fine. Head hurts like hell. And I feel gross. But I'll get better. Thanks, dude. I'd be screwed without you around. I owe you my life. <laughs> kind of. There's a water storage in the basement, and, and I once heard about it leaking gas. Why would a water storage leak gas? Even better question, why would gas be leaking up through the floor? Logic! Okay. <laughs> Only just remembered that now. Yeah, yeah, after you, all, after you almost died. <laughs> it was after I graduated, so I don't know for sure. But I think there's a dispute over the property, so the school moved and, got, and this got abandoned. I see. But you really shouldn't have gone if you knew it was dangerous. Sh shut up! I just sort of forgot, okay? <laughs> Man, to think all this happened, or this had happened when I just came here to relax. Should have just stayed home studying. It's good to get a breather, sure. Just not in an abandoned place like this. I just paraphrased. That's really something, though. You're still studying three whole years after you graduated. Well, I always wanted to be a lawyer ever since I was a kid. No matter what, I will be a lawyer. So I keep studying, and I still do, and there's no changing my mind. I see. But you're awesome yourself, climbing the elevator while carrying me? You're buffer than you look! Oh, well, I did go to flight school. Serious? That's awesome! Really can't judge a book by its cover, eh. Eh, eh, eh. But anyway, <laughs> you, you, won't you get out of here already? It's all kinds of dangerous here and I'm not looking after you anymore. I know, I know. Well, it was nostalgic and refreshing while it lasted. I'll just rest here a little and go. You do that. I'll be going. Checking all the things, then I'm gonna go away. Oh, hey, hold on a sec. You dropped something. Oh, no. Here, you... Yep, it's what I think it is. Wait, what? Huh? This looks like Professor Andrew's writing. Why do you have this? Hey, w wait, don't read that. 
Huh? Dreamer? The grade he'd always get? Hey, what's this about... How? Why did the professor... This is how he really felt? But you supported me. You said I'd be a lawyer someday. That's what you told me. Hey, D, calm down. D! Ah, that guy, he's in no condition. That monster's bound to find him. I have to go after him. On that note, I gotta pause it here. Thank you as always for watching. The annotation on the top right hand of the screen will take you to the next episode. Like, favorite, and subscribe, and do feel free to share this on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Comments are love. Please post comments. Let me know what I'm doing wrong, or if there's another game you want to see me play, I might actually get to it. And as always, stay classy, guys, and keep playing those games. There are tadpoles in the water. My dad is dead. My dad was eaten by a snake. You killed him! Oh no, the bad boy's a key. Yes, the key! Yeah, no-